Dr. Sepper, earlier you were speaking about the estrogen from uh, various uh, food products and how it relates to fibrocystic breasts. Can you elaborate more on actually estrogen dominance for us at this point? In a reproductively active period of life, of women's life, uh, the certain uh, the certain level of three main estrogens, estradiol, estriol, and estrion, uh, they uh, have some certain proportions. With age, uh, the level of estrogens goes down, as well as the level of progesterone. And the you know the ratio between the estrogens and the progesterone should be kept on a certain level if we uh, want to have the healthy metabolism, uh, especially in sexual hormones. Uh, but the level of progesterone goes down much faster than uh, estrogen. If we add to this that uh, today we have a lot of other factors to predominance of uh, estrogen like I already mentioned, uh, food consumption, beverage consumption, some pesticides, some other environmental factors that uh, the situation we have that estrogens goes down but then it starts to go up and keeps on the certain level while the uh, progesterone continues to go down and we have, we have uh, as a result we have very big gap between estrogen level and level of progesterone. And uh, that's the situation when uh, today in all age groups uh, we have the estrogen dominance. And uh, uh, there is the certain thermographical thermosemiology and uh, the characteristic of uh, thermal, thermovisual uh, picture uh, of breast uh, and other regions, by the way, uh, when uh, we can judge about estrogen dominance. And uh, I know from uh, Dr. Anthony Piana that uh, some doctors, they use uh, thermography to get the information about estrogen predominance. That's very good. I understand that traditionally hormones for hormone replacement therapy that were given were traditionally Premarin or mares urine, which contained high levels of estrogen. And whereas today, in contrast, uh, the newer thinking doctors are, are adding progesterone to the protocols. How do you feel about this? I feel that this is the step forward. Uh, they start to give women some forms of natural progesterone. The analysis of this clinical material showed uh, today that uh, this way is more rational and it really works. The level of breast cysts, breast fibrocystic breast disease and the cancer uh, went down. Uh, in medical literature we have some very promisable uh, works and results uh, with the use of some herbal remedies to keep the level of uh, estrogens and progesterones, uh, the ratio of uh, these two uh, types of hormones on a certain level, which also are effective. Doctor, uh, I understand that you have developed a natural progesterone form of hormone therapy. If you'd like to comment on that, we'd be interested in hearing about it. Yes. Uh, Last several years I was working on this idea and uh, practically uh, in laboratory to develop uh, the uh, form of natural progesterone that can be uh, suitable and useful for women with fibrocystic disease. Usually natural progesterone products they are used topically. Uh, when you apply uh, the cream or the gel the molecules of progesterone penetrate into the blood circulation and change the metabolic ratio. Skin is always uh, a pretty high barrier for the penetration of uh, natural
nature, uh, the molecules nature of products. So uh, my idea was to develop the special penetration enhancer, which will increase the percentage of uh, uh, penetrating active ingredients, in this case uh, natural progesterone, several times, not two, probably three, four, uh, from uh, up to five times. And uh, this will uh, increase the effectiveness of uh, such kind of natural progesterone therapy.